Hello and welcome to this video presentation covering the integration of a Horizon C using Distech Controls as tools. In this video, we will go over how to use Express Network Utility to configure and integrate the IP device onto our IP network, envision for graphics creation, and the productivity enhancing tools for access to the library of preloaded graphics and codes. First, we need to make sure that all the necessary tools are installed all of which can be downloaded from Smart Installer. After launching Smart Installer, we will need to check that we have the latest versions of Express Network Utility, ECGFX Program, and finally, the productivity enhancing tools which can be found a little further down and allow us to use the pre-configured codes and graphics directly in the controller. Now that we have verified that we have all of these tools installed, we can now start with the configuration. We will start by using Express Network Utility, the tool that will allow us to integrate this IP device into our IP network. The first step is to scan your network by clicking on Find Devices. When scanning the network, you'll discover all of the IP controllers that are connected. Here you can see that there is one Horizon C and one Eclipse controller on our network. We will now proceed by loading the correct GFX code in the controller. Since the Eclipse controller is directly accessible from Ex Express Network Utility and we have already entered its login credentials, ECGFX program can be started by right-clicking on the controller. This will take you directly to the GFX program in the controller without requiring you to re-enter your credentials. Since this controller is a new controller, we are going to open a new project and load a preloaded code. To do this, we are going to go into Code Library GFX Applications 3.1 and then choose the network type that we have. There are multiple codes for different applications available. For our case, with an Eclipse S1000 controller, the objective is to create an application for boiler rooms. Therefore, we will use the code for a two-stage boiler room. You only need to drag and drop this code onto the blank programming sheet. Once you have preloaded this code, you'll instantly find all related documentation for this preloaded code, how it works, and the totality of the code already done on the different tabs in the GFX project. If you're satisfied with the code, you'll need to compile it and then synchronize it with your controller by clicking on Build and Send. We will now synchronize the code to the controller. Since this is the first time that we download the code to the controller, it is best to select everything which is proposed in the window to allow for a full reinitialization of the graphic views. We then click on Next. Now the codes will be uploaded to the controller and the controller will, be, will reboot, which will take a couple of minutes. Even before the controller is rebooted, we can already click on Next and then Finish to exit the wizard. After the GFX part is done, we can exit the ECGFX program and can continue with the Envision Graphics part. For this, we need to wait for the controller to be ready, which will be signaled in Express Network Utility when the controller isn't indicated anymore in red and in italics. Once the controller has rebooted, we can configure the graphical part. To start creating graphics, you'll need to right-click on the Eclipse controller and choose Open in Web Browser. This will open the web navigation on the Eclipse page. We will then log in to this Eclipse controller using the admin account to access its administration interface and menus. You will then find yourself in the new Eclipse interface, which was released just this past June 2017. Aside from the usual menu points, you will notice that there is an additional application section in which you will find two buttons that will allow you to quickly start ECGFX program or Envision from this web page. Since the next step is to load the graphics in Envision, we will click on Envision. Once Envision has opened, we will start a new project to demonstrate how to create the graphics for our project using the base of the productivity enhancing tools. 
We will start a new project by clicking on File, New Project. We will choose the Express Envision profile for our project to help us save some time. Once prompted, we will name our project, in this case Express Demo, and then click OK. Once the project has been created, we will open the index page by double-clicking on index.dg5 in the menu at the left side. Afterwards, we will access the Express Envision viewer by clicking on Overview and Open view and Viewer link in the top right corner of the index page. This will open the Express Envision where we can import the graphics which correspond to our preloaded code. To do so, we will need to click on a small wheel in the bottom right corner and then choose Import Files to load the graphics. To find the preloaded graphics for this application, open the file directory on your computer and you'll find it in the Documents folder and under Distech Controls. In here, you open Envision, then 3.1, and here you'll see your available projects. Since we are looking for boiler room graphics, we will go into Heating Systems, Express Envision Templates, and locate the two sta stage boilers.zip file. We can now select the file, drag it over to our Express Envision interface, and drop it directly into the Import File Wizard. To complete importing the preloaded graphics, we will click on Import, which takes us back to the Express Envision page. When this is done, there will be a pop-up notification. Close the window by clicking on Leave and you will notice that the Express Envision will reload with the newly imported project. To verify that the project is properly imported, you can enter the viewer mode to see that the graphics are available and directly linked to the GFX code. To complete our project, however, we will still need to personalize our interface style and graphics. Start by clicking on Style Manager tab where we can personalize the interface style. Here we are presented with two styles that are proposed and pre-registered for you. One is the Distech Controls theme and the other using the Acuity Brands theme. Let's choose the Distech Controls one for this project. Next, using the Navigation Builder, we can adjust the different pages of this project. Envision proposes several pre-configured pages but if you would want to add an alarm console, for example, you can go to the Module tab and easily add Eclipse Alarms. The same would apply for Eclipse Trends. Afterwards, you can change any of the menu names by right-clicking on it directly. These names correspond to what will be shown in the graphics pages. If ever you needed to add an additional page to your project, you can do so by going to Page and Data Creator. Once you are finished, though, you can continue by going to the viewer to see the interface you just created. In the viewer tab, we will select the page that we want to be our landing page, which in this case is the boiler graphics, and we will copy this URL. We will now return to our Eclipse interface to create a test user that will allow us to test the preloaded graphics we just created. From the Eclipse interface, we will go into the Users tab, we will then create a new user that we will call test. We will give this user the operator and viewer rights, and then we will define the welcome page for this user. Paste the URL that we copied before and be sure to delete the IP address at the start of the URL. Click on OK to complete the new user creation and we can now see that the new test user has been added to the user list. We will test this user by logging out of the admin account and logging back in with this test user and its credentials. We can see now that this user lands directly on the boiler group Envision page as intended. Now that this has been completed, we will need to configure the Horizon C to also display this page directly. 
From Express Network Utility, we will find the Horizon C display in the list of the discovered devices and we will right click on it and launch in web browser. Just like on an Eclipse controller, the web interface landing page remains the same. To log in to the Horizon C display, type admin and enter the admin password. Once logged in, you will notice many similarities to the Eclipse web interface. In the Systems menu tab, you will find a new tab called Launcher Settings that is specific to the Horizon C display. Here, you will find the applications that you want to have active as well as all of the necessary configuration parameters. We can see that the Horizon C can give us access to MyDC Control supervisory interface, but today we, want, we are interested in setting up our access to Envision graphics we just created by using the MyDC Viewer application. There are still a few more parameters to configure, starting with the URL type. We are given the options of Eclipse or ECNet type URLs. For our case, we will select Eclipse. We will now enter the IP address of the Eclipse controller of which we want to display the graphics web page. Finally, we will enter the user credentials for this test user that we had just created earlier. We can test the connection by pressing Test Connection, and a pop-up will appear at the bottom right corner of the screen with the result. Once completed, we can click on Apply. Now that we have completed the configuration, we can check to see what it looks like on the Horizon C display. To do so, we will click on My DC Viewer, and since this is the first time that we are connecting to the display, it will take a bit longer to display gra the graphics than usual. After the first time, however, these pages will be cached and the loading time will be much shorter. So there we go, our boiler room page has displayed and we have completed the configuration of our Horizon C display, which has allowed us to view HTML5 based graphics directly from the product. So to summarize, we have seen how to use the numerous tools from Vista Controls. We have used Express Network Utility to integrate the BACnet IP products. We used ECGFX program to preload the preloaded code in our Eclipse controller. We have used the productivity enhancing tools that provided us with the library of GFX codes and Envision graphics that we used in our boiler room application. And finally, we used Envision to quickly create our web-based graphics pages. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for upcoming new videos.